Oh, it's the lemon. Olive. What's it taste like? Gin or vodka? A little like both. With a touch of lighter fluid thrown in. Oh, so what? The guys who are main side will never know the difference. This is a war. A martini's a martini. Head for the hills, cousin. Here come the revenuers. Hey, it's the skipper, Mr. Parker. Hide the goodies, quick. All right, you bunch of gold bricks. What's going on here? You're supposed to be getting a boat and ready for morning patrol. Uh, uh, sorry, running a little late, Skip, but uh, we were just giving the hut a little extra cleanup. Look, well, it sure use it, boy. This torpedo is filthy. Torpedo? <laughs> Get up out of there. Cloud nine martini mix, one sip and you're flying? I made it up. <laughs> Now, if that isn't one for the books... Well, you can say that again, Skip. Dear diary, guess what the guys dreamed up today. Well, that's it, huh? No more Penny Annie stuff, huh? You're going big league stuff now. Heist and torpedoes. Now, wait a minute, Skip. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Skip, where else could we get the alcohol? Now, you listen to me, you schlockmeisters. You better start high it for that boat before I really get mad. Now, move! Salute. Fruity! Oh, man. While we're gone, you get rid of that jungle juice. Dump it. I don't care where, just dump it. Here. Boys, I'll never believe this after the war. Oh, come on. We just stop it with that diary. Well, skip it. I didn't get a chance to date Shark, you. I said move. <laughs> well, what are you standing there for? Get the lead out. Tote that crate. Lift that booze. You're the skipper. Move. <laughs> the torpedo then <laughs> torpedo oh we've got them with the goods carpenter <laughs> but what, what is the torpedo doing in a bunk <laughs> what's that smell oh sir must be this insecticide insecticide eh? Ooh. that's vermouth vermouth sir hey this is beginning to add up torpedo juice vermouth those those pirates are making martinis sir maybe we can find some olives too <laughs> never mind the olives we're gonna turn this off-Broadway brewery upside down. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't oh, mean it. Oh, no, some dope and... What, 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 <laughs> Do not open. This means you. What kind of nonsense is this now? The private diary of Ensign Charles Parker. Authentic and top secret. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, January 14th. Dear Diary, today the guys heisted six sets of signal flags to make sarongs for native girls. Uh-huh. February 1st, Dear Diary, this afternoon Gruber lost the captain's jeep to Yorulu in a poker game. And sir, all these months you've been making me pay for it. March 17th. Dear Diary, tonight the guys borrowed officers' uniforms and crashed the dance in the nurses' quarters. <laughs> Carpenter, do you realize what this means? Oh, it's the discovery of the century, sir. As soon as we get back to the office, I'll get the court martial papers ready. Oh, no, 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 no. I've seen McHale wiggle out of too many tight ones. I'm going to take this right to Admiral Rogers. We'll let him file the charges. <laughs> oh, brilliant strategy, sir. Oh, what about the torpedoes, sir? Oh, darn the torpedoes and full speed ahead to my office safe. Oh, that's cute, sir. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> We're going to lock up dear diary till we shove off a calm fleet in the morning. Oh, sir. Oh, 
Boy, now it's really hairy, hairy time. <laughs> What's so terrible? So we found his diary. Hold it, hold it. Now, Chuck, you've been doing a lot of scribbling lately. Exactly what did you put in that diary? Well, it's just kind of a collection of uh, all the colorful things the guys have done. You mean the heists? The rackets? The dames? Everything? Please, Chuck, say that you didn't put everything in that book. Well, that diary's our death warrant. Firing squad, here we come. Oh, you can say that again. Binghamton will throw the book at us. Oh, no. Captain Redbottom will not throw the book anywhere. He put it in safe till he take to Admiral Rogers in morning. Oh, Admiral Rogers. Rogers. Hold it, hold it. There's no time to push the panic button. What we gotta do is to figure out a way to keep that book from getting the calm fleet. There's only one thing to do, Skip. We gotta crack that strong box. Tonight. Cracking a safe is no job for an amateur. Who's gonna crack it? Who else, Skip? A little old safe cracker. Me. <laughs> Copies in there loaded to the teeth. We gotta get him out of here before we can move. Well, that ain't gonna be easy, Skip. He don't like, take orders from anyone except old Ned Bottom. That's right. Well, now suppose we went over Binghamton's head. Way over his head. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter speaking. Hello, Tara Tupa. Long distance calling. Come in, Washington, D.C. Come in, Washington, D.C., please. <laughs> my friend. And you are my friend. This is the president. President Roosevelt. Uh, at ease. Thank you, sir. Now, see here. Go get Captain Binghamton and make it snappy, or you won't be my friend. Well, Captain Binghamton specifically ordered me not to leave here, sir. Now, look, my fellow American. I told you to go get him and snap it up. It's time for Fowler's war. <laughs> You hear that? He's getting impatient. And so am I. Now get going. Oh, yes, sir. And, uh, and, and I'm sorry about Fowler, Mr. President. Anything you say, sir. You forgot your gun. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Hey, boys, the fireside chat's over. Let's get cracking. Nice going, Chuck. You sure fooled him. I don't understand this. Why would he want to talk to me? Hello, Mr. President. This is Captain Binghamton speaking. Uh, before you say anything, sir, I would just like to tell you, Mr. President, that it is a great honor, sir, to be talking with you. <laughs> Mr. President? <laughs> Mr. President? President, why well, there's nobody on that line, you dunce? But, sir, he, he promised he'd hold on. Well, I knew he wouldn't be calling me. I didn't even vote for the man, for heaven's sakes. Why would he do ah! 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 My diary. My diary is gone. It's been stolen. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, and it's gone right down the bills. Do you realize the penalty for abandoning your post in time of war? But, so what else could I do? I was ordered by President Roosevelt. I was ordered by President Roosevelt. <laughs> you ninny, you. Who do you think cracked this safe? Calvin Coolidge? <laughs> sir, I don't understand it. I even heard Fowler barking, no, sir. Fowler barking. The only dog that you heard was Mikhail. No. I can tell you that right now. He and his pirates are responsible for this thing. I'll bet my stripes on that. Let's go. Yes, Ah! Ooh. Get your fingers out of the safe. Get you that time. Come on. Oh, <laughs> my poor diary. Uh, better Richard Byrne than us. Uh huh. Hey, this is ready because Binghamton. Stash the bonfire and listen. Don't anybody open his mouth. I'll do all the talking. Ah! Good evening, Captain. A lovely day, wasn't it? <laughs> don't try the small talk with me, you overstuffed Jimmy Valentine. You think you fooled me, don't you? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean, sir. You don't, huh? You never heard of the great safe robbery, I suppose. <laughs> safe robbery? Boy, it's getting so you can't trust anybody nowadays. God, <laughs> knock it off, all of you. 
Fortunately, I don't need Dear Diary to nail you, highwayman. I've got another method, a foolproof method. And here's the fool right over here. <laughs> Anson Charles Parker. Here, sir. You're under arrest. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Are you accusing Parker of cracking that safe? Oh, no, that takes talent. <laughs> All I want is Parker's testimony on the stand. You are going to tell Admiral Rogers every poison pen page of your little diary. Well, well that's impossible, sir. I have a very poor memory. I can't remember anything, Captain. Uh, uh, Captain, what was your name? Uh, Binghamton. Wallace B oh, Now you stop that. You stop all those silly things that you do. Now you listen to me, Ensign. If you're getting any ideas of developing amnesia on the stand, you just forget all about it. Because if you do, that's perjury and I'll nail you for about 20 years. Oh, no, 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 Captain. Let's talk this thing over, huh? <clears throat> okay, well, if you've got anything to say, you say it to the chaplain. And if you've got any ideas about heisting my witness like you heisted that diary, you forget it. Tell Roy. Yes, sir. Hmm. How about that, huh? <laughs> From now on, Parker, wherever you go, then that's where I'll go. And wherever I go, then that's where you'll go. Until, oh, 700 hours when we shove off for conflict. Now, let's go, Mr. Houdini, and see you try and get out of this one. Come on, come on. Well, come on, get out of there. Right. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. What? No, here, no, no, here, no, no. Wait a minute. 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 Wait a minute.
put you down. Well, I can't look at anything, sir. I can't stand high places. <laughs> oh, I want my mother. I'd like to get my hands on it myself. Go pilot to pilot. They're coming down on Bora Laura. Better call Terra Two but once. Is that you, Captain? Oh. <laughs> Who'd you expect it to be, Madam Butterfly? <laughs> See your fat little neck for getting me into a mess like this. That's just what I'm going to do as soon as I get out of these handcuffs. There's the key. The key. Want me to bury the shoe? Yeah, wrap yourself in it first. There's the key. I can't find the key. You know what this means? Yeah, you're gonna have to pay for it. That was government property. <laughs> why, why, why would I have to be stuck on a Japanese island with a jaybird like you? <laughs> well, frankly, I'm just kind of glad to have company. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I get out of these things. I don't want to go through life dragging a dead body with me. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Put this on for me, sir. Uh, last seen approximately one mile north of enemy airstrip. Of all the lousy breaks. Yeah, the best chance we ever had to give old Red Bottom the deep six, he has to have Mr. Parker with him. Well, there's only one way to get Mr. Parker out of this mess, boys, and that is to go after him. So come on, you bunch of apes, let's get the lead out. We're going to borrow Laura. Let's go. There's a nip supply head over there. There ought to be a hacksaw in that thing. Well, it could Come be kind of risky, sir. <laughs> Before I'd spend another night on this chain gang with you, I'd risk storming Tokyo Bay barehanded. <laughs> Get out of this, you see a doctor. <laughs> I'll stand guard out here. Yes, I found a nitwit at the end of my left arm. Get me. <laughs> there, you dumbbell. There's a hacksaw. I told you there's a hacksaw. Come on. Oh, Giles. Ah, I'm... 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 I'm...
do we do first? Well, there's no hostess. I guess you better fasten your seatbelt first. Yeah. <laughs> hostess, get your hands off of me. No! Your wheel, sir. Oh. Maybe you want me to turn this on? What is it? I think it's a heater. Kill the heater. 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 Heater.